All right, well, we're waking up to a beautiful morning this morning, clear blue skies, the sun is shining. We're gonna try to get out of camp today for a little adventure. We're gonna start out by going into the town of Williams for breakfast and then go out into the back country, see what we can find. Oh, it's nice in the sun. I went with the country fried steak, eggs, breakfast potatoes. Kel did the Monte Cristo. That thing is looking wild. You don't see them very often. Let's I dig in. All right, how's that for the clean plate club? That was good. <laughs> He's like the captain of the clean plate club. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much your typical tourist town type stuff here. Lots of places to eat, little gift shops and that. It's cool. Just neat being up in the trees in the mountains here. A lot of Route 66 theme stuff. Little cars like this. This gas station here is 419, but there's a couple around town here that are 385 which is cheaper than I filled up the last few times so that's good to see some cruisers must be these guys right here <laughs> there's where we just ate pine country restaurant looks really good I'd recommend it and off to the right there is the train station yeah, this Circle K here has gas for $3.85. All right, quaint little town of Williams. We are moving on. Let's do it. Alright, we are heading into the back country here, doing a little exploring. Found a waterfall on the map. We're going to check to see if it's running. With the uh, recent snow melt. Could be dried up already. Oh, not too bad. It looks like on the left it's a little less. Oh, that's barely anything. Let's blast through it on the way back. It's out here exploring around and we found this waterfall in this deep ravine. It is just spectacular. Quite the treat. And it is warming up today. It's a little chilly when we got going. So we're stripping down layers here quick. See if we can give you a glimpse of these falls. Well, there they are. Pretty cool. What a treat.
Well, that waterfall was a treat. We're going to continue on, see what other things we can find. And it is warming up. I had to strip a few layers. Well, we're out here exploring still, and we came upon this lake here. It's pretty much closed vehicle access, but we managed to hike in here, taking the bikes down a back road. <laughs> Pretty, pretty lake. Oh, it looks like this is an old stove chimney of some sort. I was thinking it was part of an old cabin, but the ground just doesn't look flat enough around it. Maybe it was an outdoor, could be something else, water trough, but uh, I'm thinking more, maybe it was an outdoor stove, oven. Hard to tell. Gosh, look at how pretty it is today though. Blue sky. Birds are singing. It is warming up. Keep my long dogs off. <laughs> Well, we're over here checking out Coleman Lake. I have never seen water in this lake bed. It's usually always like a marshy just a tiny bit of water in the middle of it. And it is pretty full up this year. Pretty cool. Some of the frogs. That was a very fun day of exploring. Kelly has been working her tail off. She got a day off today. We got out and had some fun. Oh, we got a little gift. Good times, buddy. I went down once going through some snow. Yeah, I was going real slow. All right, I'm gonna get some pizza dough going. We're gonna have pizza for dinner. Okay, so we are back at camp. I'm going to get prepped on dinner here because it is getting on in the afternoon. I'm going to do a little uh, cast iron pizza here at camp. Can we <laughs> peek it in there? Let's see what we got going. So I'm going to do this pizza up in a 12 inch cast iron skillet and I've got a little special trick for that to uh, get it fully cooked and comes out like a wood fired pizza. So stick around. About three quarter cups flour is about good for a 12 inch pizza. Actually, that's a 10 inch. My apologies. It's not 12 inch. That's 10 inch. Add a quarter cup water with the yeast in there. I'm going to get, add a little bit of salt to the flour, get that yeast and water in there. Mix it up, let that rise. There we go. Away you go. Might have to add a little more water. Kind of a drier dough. Last few pizzas I've made a little bit too much dough and I end up trying to stuff it all in the pan. And it's a little bit thicker crust than I prefer. So. I usually just try to knead it for about five minutes or so and get too crazy. Let's put a little bit of oil on my hands. Go ahead and get that in the bowl, put a little oil on it, cover it, let that sit for a few hours. It's getting close to pizza time. Our dough is fermenting and rising nicely. I'm just going to do like a three hour proof, I guess they call it. And I'm getting my cheese grated up here for pizza sauce. Kelly happened to have this little uh, bubbly packet of sauce. We're going to use this. I've been using this margarita brand pepperoni. It's so good. Very good. And then I've got some spicy Italian sausage, some pasta we made the other night, some leftovers. So we'll use some of that sausage. Thinking maybe some thinly sliced onions. I'm probably going to skip the olives this time. 
But I've got this technique using a blowtorch. It comes out like wood-fired pizza. You guys gotta check it out. So we'll show you when we get that going. Okay, here we are going for the thin crust on this. Last few times I've done this, I've used a little bit too much dough. And uh, the end crust ends up being way puffier and thicker than I like. So I think I got it right. A three-quarter cup of flour for the 10 inch. I like it to stretch it so you can almost see through it. See light through it. Peekaboo. And then I just flap it in the pan. And top it all in the pan. Yeah, this is still a little... Probably could almost go away with a half cup of it the flour to make the dough. Okay, going in with this sauce next. Not sure if we'll use all this. It's a low moisture mozzarella, mozzarella that I shredded myself. The pre-shredded stuff. You just don't get that stretchiness because they add that whatever cellulose to keep it from sticking. And then we're going to go in with some peps. those all around. This has been a process for me. This will probably be my maybe, I don't know, I've made at least six or seven of these. More than that. More I than think. that, probably yeah. up to a dozen by now. Yeah. A lot of times I'll make two. Yeah. Brown up this spicy Italian sausage the other day for some pasta sauce and had some left over. So a little sausage, bell pepper and onion. Gotta to top it off. It's gonna be kind of like a combo, minus the olives. I just love, I have fun making these pizzas. I really get a kick out of it. And when you get the blowtorch out, it gets real fun. <laughs> Said no guy ever. <laughs> hey, all guys love blowtorches. I know. <laughs> kind of a medium low heat. And I don't have I actually do have a cast iron lid for this, but because I'm not using charcoal, I found that this metal plate of mine works just fine. I usually put a folded up rag in there. It kind of insulates the top, holds in the heat a little bit. You get it going for a good five minutes or so like that. And then when it starts to cook the dough a little bit, I break out the blowtorch. So, okay, so my technique for this, so I don't get just the center of the pizza burnt or super brown, I kind of rotate the pan uh, around the edges, have the flame on the edge of the pan. It really helps heat up the outside of the cast iron pan. So I'll leave it for a couple minutes in one position, slide it around, get some heat on the other end like that. Then I will slide it over down and into the center, make sure that center stays hot. But for the most part, I'm trying to really get the edges of the pan hot. And uh, we'll let that go for a little bit. It's already starting to cook. See it puffing up. I really want to keep that lid on to keep the heat in and then I'll break out the blowtorch have some real fun okay so it's been on there for a few minutes now maybe four five minutes total you can see it's already puffing up so I've turned the heat down on the bottom a little bit I break out my blowtorch here and I've done the research you've probably seen videos of people using torches for cooking it's totally safe you don't have to worry about anything as far as contaminating the food because I got pepperonis on here, I try to just hit the pepperonis, get those to release their fats and kind of curl up a little bit. Got to be careful. You don't want to have anything that can catch fire around your stove. And hit those end crusts there and you can see they brown up that little bit of slight charring just like a wood fired oven. Comes out so good. I think this is your favorite part. It's fun. I just <laughs> have a blast making these pizzas. Okay, so I'm feeling good about that. I'll do real quick is just kind of give it a little touch and it's still pretty soft it's not cooked enough to where I can lift it and check the bottom so I'm gonna put that lid back on check my heat I'm at kind of a low to medium low again I'm gonna get the heat going all around the edges and check back in a little bit 
Okay, so I just left it for another maybe two, three minutes, and I checked the bottom. The bottom is totally done. Actually, a little browner than I like it, but I think it's going to be good. So I'm giving it one last torch treatment around the edges and hitting those peps and toppings. Make sure everything's good and hot. Seeing some bubblage there. Usually see how done it is by giving it a spin. You gotta be careful, this pan is super hot. And we've got some nice browning on the bottom. Ooh, this pizza right out. And let that cool for a minute. And we'll put it on a cutting board, slice it, and dig in. There we have it. This is my cast iron blowtorch pizza. Look at that crust. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, pizza is done and sliced. Let it cool for a minute. And uh, the crust is nice and thin how I like it. Just a little bit of puff towards the end there. Got to give a big shout out to Dave, our camp neighbor we ran into today. He watches my videos. Super nice guy, Dave. You're doing awesome, man. We went out on a ride all day today, came back, and there was a bottle of this sitting on my table. I can tell you watch my videos, Dave. Thank you. So we're going to try it out. This is a Tabasco Sriracha. It's going to be delicious. Just a few little drops. I like to go too heavy. We got to do the taste test here for you guys. I'm really try not to brag to Kelly when I make these pizzas, <laughs> but I swear, <laughs> I, I'm getting this down. They turn out so good. It's a legit pizza. <laughs> well, I appreciate you all hanging out with us in this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Things are really warming up around here. It's just been beautiful. We're up in the high 60s, low 70s, and uh, most of the snow has melted. Things are really drying up. It's just been beautiful. And uh, we're going to start to make our slow roll north. Uh, we plan on being up in the northwest by the middle of summer. Uh, just to kind of give you some loose idea of our travel plans, probably going through some of Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, into Washington State. I will not be going to Alaska this summer for the seasonal job I've done in the past. Um, I had some family stuff come up, so that's becoming increasingly important to me to seize the opportunity to spend time with family when I can. So we'll fill you more in on that as that approaches. And I will probably be looking for just some part-time work up in Washington State this summer. So I do have some contacts up there. I'm going to get in touch with them and see if I can get put to work and make a little extra cash for my travels. And then, uh, Kelly, of course, Kelly and I are going to do a big motorcycle trip. We're going to park the vans and get out on the bikes and do some moto camping, go right through the whole state of Oregon. It should be a blast. We'll be doing that towards the end of summer. So yeah, looking forward to bringing you guys all along. I just appreciate you all so much for just keep coming back and checking out my videos. Wanted to give a big thank you to all of you that ordered stickers. I am now currently sold out, waiting for my next batch to arrive. So I'll notify you guys when those are in. Uh, it's just a huge support. I really appreciate it. They sold out very fast. And I only got one return, so I'll refund the money on that. Steve in Oregon, we're going to have to update your uh, mailing info because it, it did get returned to me. But anyway, I hope you're all doing well out there, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Peace.